All right, Shalom. Shalom. I want to start out by giving all praise, honor, and glory unto Yahweh, Ba'ashem, Yahweh Shai, Ba'ashem, Rakaq, Kodash. Double honor to the apostle that was a great millstone. Shalom to the Akimah that pushing the word of sincerity and the truth. This bar is all. Oh, brother Kabash. Yeah, we're uh, just going to do a lesson on growing in the grace, growing in the spirit, uh, being a better model or a better version of yourself, you know, through the spirit. Just some character development. <clears throat> Which I think is essential, which we think is essential, of course. And we know that for a fact. It's always about being a better model of yourself, being a wiser, uh, humbler, you know, uh, you know, more faithful. It's, it's so many different elements that, uh, you know, comes to play within this truth. You know, there's so much to learn and so much to uh, apprehend. You know, uh, a lot of character, it's, you know, scripture is full of scriptures with pertaining to uh, character development, you know. So the Lord sees those things to be fit, you know, and as we retain this knowledge, wisdom and understanding and grow in it, <clears throat> that not only benefits us um, highly, but it benefits the ones that surround us. All right. People that listen, learn, understand. Um, you know what, what we say and what we speak You know it, it enables them to grow And excel at a faster pace You know So without further ado we're going to go into some scripts uh, The brother got a Colossians 2 and 7 already You can get it Colossians chapter 2 verse 6 As ye have therefore mm -hmm. received Hamashiach and the Lord So walk ye in him If you have anything you want to say too of course Okay Rooted and built up in him. Yeah, so it, all, it always starts with the root. You look at a tree, scripture says in the Psalm, the first chapter, we shall be like a tree planted. If you look at a tree, it starts with the root system. The root system, the strong root system, is um, essential for growing. So when it says to be rooted, uh, it means to be established, you know, because when roots take place in the earth, they anchor themselves within the uh, and burrow within the elements of the earth and they draw the uh, nutrition out of it. All right. So that's the same thing you should be doing in this truth. Drawing out the, 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 the full understanding of, of these scriptures and, and walking in it. Because like you said in the, 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 the scripture before, uh, Amashia, you see the Lord walk in. Uh -huh. Remember Yahweh Shah said he's the root uh -huh. of, of, the, of the vine. Uh -huh. So we really just got to be establishing the Lord. Be establishing the Lord. That's why it says built up in him. Like verse 6 just said before. And establish in the faith. Because the word established means to be made stable. You know, scriptures speak about there's some that go uh, to and fro with every uh, wind of philosophy. You know, and those guys, they don't grow. Because they don't know. They're, they're indecisive. You got to be decisive in this truth. You got to know what you want. Excuse me, I'm just drinking this drink. Hello. I love parched. But uh, you got to know what you want in this truth. You know, which we all know that we, we like the priest said earlier today, uh, one of the brothers in the camp, says I want about working for that penny. You know, knowing, counting the costs, doing the work of an evangelist, doing what it takes, doing our videos, fellowshipping, you know, and even on a healthier side, eating, eating, better putting yourself on a certain schedule and regimen that that's conducive for your growth not just winging everything in life doing certain things uh to, to become more habitually better you know good habits uh create good habits bad habits create bad habits so if we like it tells you in the book of second peter's the first chapter if you add to your knowledge which we, we could get that too um if you add all these different um key components that the Lord told us to add you know then that's how you become the better version or, or the best version of yourself you know but there's a little bit more on that okay God. and it says establishing the faith as ye have been taught yeah abounding therein with thanksgiving All right so our apostles and elders taught us correctly you know and they told us you know through the spirit of they gave us all everything it takes to become, you know, fully 
uh, 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 grown in this truth, you know. They, they broke down all the scriptures, gave us the, the milk, gave, they gave us the full understanding of the meat, you know, you know how, how we ought to walk in this truth, how we ought to conduct ourselves. Because um, the scriptures tells us, you know, there's not a, there's not one thing that the scriptures doesn't have, you know, in writing, you know, for us not to, um, to, to leave us in darkness. You know, the scriptures tells us everything that it takes to become the best version of ourselves. You know, scriptures speak about striving for the master, you know, and it also says to mark the perfect man, you know. So perfection, you know, is, is, is the name of the game. We're looking to become perfect in this truth. And, and we're not going to be perfect in this captivity, of course, you know, but we should always try to work our way up the ladder, you know, to, uh, to, to grow, you know, grooming ourselves, grooming one another, polishing us with ourselves with the understanding on the Hebrew, the Greek, you know, our prayers, you know, praying over ourselves and praying, praying to grow more, you know, these things are, 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 are essential. Because who wants to be stagnant? Anything that's stagnant pretty much is at a point of death. Because if you have stagnant plants, it's not, well, let's say stagnant waters. All right? If you have stagnant waters, what happens eventually is bacteria and all kind of, um, you'll see certain gnats start to, climb, uh, uh, start to uh, fly around. Uh, stagnant waters, all kind of unclean spirits uh, uh, start to um, grow and fester in those stagnant waters because what? It's stagnant. So you don't want to be stagnant is truth you know yeah. you want to you don't want to be shiftless you want to shift you want to make your necessary adjustments that's why we're speaking about this thing with growth you know and the lord commands us to grow you know it's not just all right i want to be i don't want to grow anymore now if you don't grow in this thing you know more than likely the spirit's not dealing with you and that might be an indicator that you need to make some some adjustments, you know, because sometimes, you know, you, you might fall on, fall down. The scripture says that a righteous man falls seven times, yet get up, up again. But the point is they get up again and they strive, you know, so that's what it's about. You got, you got that? Uh, I'm going to start from uh, verse four. Second Peter chapter one, verse four, whereby are given unto us exceeding great and precious promises that by these ye might be partakers of the divine nature mm -hmm. having escaped the corruption that is in the world through lust yep through lust yep continue and beside this given all diligence yep so the scriptures speak about being consistent all right you know being on top of your game you know look at the apostles they're on top of the game you know that's the name of the game. When you could you speak about um Yahweh Shah said it that he um which is, uh, uh how does it say it? I was with you daily teaching in the ministry. Yahweh Shah was extremely consistent. Every day he was um you know putting forth his uh, putting his best foot forth, you know, which he became a god pretty much on earth. You know, scripture says that he grew in wisdom and in stature. So he was still growing too. Yeah, he was still growing. You know, yeah, I wish I wasn't just complete. I mean, of course, he was a complete man. It's perfect in the law. You know, everything flawless without spot and blemish. Yeah, the setting was different, too. Mm -hmm. You know, the nation, we still knew who we were. Mm -hmm. you know, except some of us, Gentile state, but still mostly, you know, close to home. Yep. And even the, the disciples, because the disciples started off as disciples and they were uh, unlearned. And then what? They became apostles and they were extremely learned. Yeah, you know, trade was a uh, fisherman. Fisherman. So they took care of themselves. Took care of yeah. He was a carpenter. Mm -hmm. And he uh, got very uh, diligent in that and he became rich, but he gave away those riches. Mm -hmm. you know, certain us, you know, it ain't all about getting rich, but you do want to maintain, you know, your, your keep over here in, in, the, in the captivity. Yeah, you got to. Yeah, because they, he saw these other nations. Man, we destroyed, man. And that's part of that's part of uh, being a better best version of yourself too. Uh, handling your business to the scripture says, uh, whatever thou do is do it with your with your might. And if you got a job and a labor market or anything like that, just do it to the best of your ability. Right. You know. Now we know we're in captivity. It's like if you're a captive, 
You got to do what a captive does. Work, man. Scripture says, uh, um, Paul said it, work laboring with your hands. You know? You build the tents. Yeah. You know, this is pretty much, for the, for the most part, everybody on the earth is working one way or another. Right. Now, you know, the elites don't work, but they, they're doing some type of, they, they, Scripture speak about how the wicked don't sleep. Unless they they um, oppress it, so it is a form of work. Yeah, it is a form of work. Yeah. You know, it is a form of laboring. Yeah. You know, because if you don't la labor, you become idle, and that's that stagnant water. The scriptures speak about how idleness of the hands, the uh, house dropping through. So you don't want to be idle in this truth, because what happens is you will start to uh, become a, a vessel for Satan to use, just through having too many. Uh, being overly idle. Yeah, because you're in a war now. Like, yeah. you, you bust through the fourth wall, so mm -hmm. everything that you have from the world, you bring it in with the truth if it's uh, profitable uh, among yourself and other brothers, too, that's uh, leading, mm -hmm. you know, that, that you're teaching and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. So, with, the, with, with adding this diligence, it'll only just make it uh, uh, worthwhile with the Heavenly Father to where. You know, you're not going to be judged out here like these other people. Yep. You know, at the time when they crowned 19, a lot of people was suffering, but brothers had, mm -hmm. you know, gigs. They had money coming in. They had some type of provision that they didn't have to worry about. Mm -hmm. That's what we're building up through the Spirit. Mm -hmm. All right, you can keep going. Come, add to your faith virtue mm -hmm. and to virtue knowledge. Yep. So, brothers... Uh, see your growth by you know a lot of times what we know how we teach you know our delivery of the, tr the truth because those things are important now knowledge is is, is is a key element but it's so many different variables that comes with being uh you know fully inclined in this truth the scriptures also says in Sirach there is one that teaches many yet is unprofitable to himself mm -hmm. so you can know a lot and still not prosper it still doesn't benefit you it's the application that's why the scripture says wisdom is the principal thing so the application of what you know that promotes wisdom and it also says with all that getting get understanding all right continue verse six and to knowledge temperance temperance goes into balance you know keep going and to temperance patience yeah knowing how to suffer you know like we'll we'll you might be on a high situation might be in a high state lord might put you in a low state where you just suffer but you got to still have, uh, you know, keep those, uh, you know, characteristics, the spiritual characteristics, and still grow in it. Continue. Come. And to patience, godliness. Mm hmm Like we're talking about Yahweh Shai, and for the most part, you know, the, the other righteous men within the scriptures, they were pretty much like gods on earth. Because what? They, they was adhering and listening to the law. If you listen to, e uh, read the story of Enoch, scriptures speak about how he was, he was perfect in the Lord. And he was so perfect that pretty much he beat the concept of life. Oh, well, the scripture says, least he be, uh, least wickedness befall him, and he get corrupted by the, by the sins of men. But he pretty much, you know, did did which was required, and he got caught up, you know? Yep. He graduated. Yeah. He graduated, now, man. He said he passed on. Mm hmm But now, he, he literally passed on, but with good works. Through, through well, his good works. Yep. I think uh, after, what, he, he was 39 years old and they, they found him a record of did he die or anything. But in the scriptures it says before he was taken up. Mm. I think that's in uh, St. Ezra's 8. So, yeah, Ezra never died too. Mm. See? Yeah, how was Shia? was suffering though. Yeah, how was Shia got raised up? Yeah, third day. Yep. Yeah. And, and, and delivered in that uh, chariot. Yeah, he could never die. And see, we, we, we're looking to be in that, that um, you know, f through the Spirit of the Lord, looking to go through that same path where the Lord will deliver us, man. You know, deliver us out of this hell hole. But as we're here, we, you know, continue to grow and, 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 and you know, beat in each other's minds to, to become, you know, the best of, the best version of ourselves, like the title of this lesson is, you know, so like I said, we could become um, stronger, you know, more, more, um, like I could speak about how it's being precious jewels in the sight of the Lord, you know, that you want to be precise, you want to be on point, you want to you want to shine. If you're a jewel, or if you like know anything about jewelry, you want you want your jewelry to be a one. You don't want no bottom shelf ass jewelry, right. you know. 
fool's gold. So the Lord, fool's gold. So the Lord likens us on to jewelry, and you don't want to be that bottom. You don't. If you don't desire a bottom jewelry, why do you think the Lord would, would desire some bottom of the barrel as jewelry? Right. The Lord wants it, everything top tier. He's very specific. You know, so he specifies how we ought to worship, how we ought to conduct ourselves, how we ought to live, you know, et cetera, et cetera. You got it. Verse 7, and to godliness, brotherly kindness. Yeah, being kind to your brother. You know, for brothers need in need of, always having a selfless mentality, you know, not trying to, uh, you know, not always thinking about you. Everything is about you, 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 you. You know, what about the rest of the brothers? You know, what? having certain things where you could benefit a brother. You know, you want to be a benefit to yourself and you would rather, it's better to be an asset than a liability. But you can tell you. And to brotherly kindness, charity. Yeah. And the scriptures speak about how charity covered the multitude of sins. And this is the highest form of charity doing the work of Yahweh by Shemel You know, the scripture says freely receive, freely give. That's part of that patience because when you, you suffering uh, of not indulging what you want to get into mm -hmm. after work or, mm -hmm. or it's the weekend. You know, people, they chill, you know, for the weekend. Mm -hmm. But you suffering and sacrificing your time for brothering to get this truth, mm -hmm. that's accounted for as the, the patience and the virtue, the knowledge, the balance. Because mm -hmm. we don't do work. Shit, the Lord can destroy us. Hell yeah. It's quicker than Jake that don't know the Lord. Yeah. So you speak about how judgment was gonna start in Israel, yeah. but you get at least the last few and we'll close. You know, we, we, we didn't, unless you want to have some other precepts you want to bring out. Okay, come. Uh, verse eight. For if these things be in you and abound, yep, and they make you that ye should neither be barren nor unfruitful in the knowledge of our Lord Yahweh Shaddai. Yeah, but, you want to produce. Mm -hmm. You know, be fruitful. I right, just when the Lord. Um, planet man he said be fruitful and multiply so in the same spirit you want to multiply this could just speak about how um you know the, their uh laborers in this 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 pasture of ours you know lord said he you know pray that we produce fruit you know and also we remain you know and and, and the fruit represents also the work you know the fruit of course can represent the elect but producing fruit is 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 uh you know, growing and elevating within this ministry. Yeah, like you said, the works. Brothers can feed works, off yep. other brothers' yep. works. And, and they, they, they produce their own fruits, mm -hmm. which is in the form of talent. Yep. You know, it's money. It's, it's a value. And you can use it. That's what the Lord said. So when the Lord comes back and give us uh, usury, or meaning more than what we actually work for, eternal life and planets and stuff, then, you know, he's going to come back with, with good titles towards you. Mm -hmm. But if you don't, and you let the world catch you, then you, you're going to get bad titles from the Lord. Mm -hmm. I mean, just look up the accounts of how many people get murdered and killed or just being put to death, period. That's equivalent to the Lord's bad titles if mm -hmm. you don't complete these works. Yep. A little bit more? Come. Verse 9, but he that lacketh these things is blind and cannot see or fall off. So you got to see the bigger picture. It's all about that bigger picture. That's the old head was telling me at my job. I said, a lot of you youngers, you want to look at the big picture. Mm -hmm. You want to get a check and then quit the job. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's like, nah. It's all about the longevity. Thing. It's the yeah, same thing in the truth, yeah. 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 Jake can get a little, get some some, some knowledge, you know. And, and, and that's why the scripture says what? Um, not a novice left being, less being lifted up with pride, falling to the uh, condemnation of the devil. Got to be humble. And the scripture says to wax old in thy work, being consistent like you. Like you said, the bigger picture. You know, getting a check and bouncing, that ain't gonna cut it. Right. What about a year from now? What that's how this Jake is thinking about. What about five years from now? That one check ain't gonna last me five years, so I gotta stay consistent. And then your goals. Mm-hmm. That's the bigger picture. You want you know, responsibilities? Yep. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Bills always coming, rent always coming. Yep. Yeah. And it's it's all spiritual too. From him saying that to this truth, because the scriptures speak about how the Lord's gonna come. He spoke, speaks about usury. So the Lord is going to put tax on this truth. You know, when we were planning on earth, we came here in debt, you know, yeah. from our past sins, you know. How David even said in sin to have my mother conceive, conceive you. 
So we have to work our, work our way out of debt by doing good works of charity. You know, and like you said, this is the ultimate form of charity doing the work of Yahweh by Shema You can continue. Uh, verse 8. So I think that's what I'm going to do. Uh, verse 8. And cannot see afar off, which is the kingdom of heaven, mm -hmm. and have forgotten that he was purged from his old sins. Mm -hmm. mm. Yeah, because because now you, you come in his truth, the Lord prick you. He's, yeah. he's the prick that, you know, he was telling Paul, you know, uh -huh. my kick is against the prick. Kick it, yep. You can't kick against the, the Lord because uh -uh. he's pricking you uh -huh. or uh, chastising you because of your sins. Uh -huh. Whatever it may be, but you repented for it and the Lord uh, counted that as, as, as washed away. But if you go back in the world, you missing the bigger picture of fall and you forgot your first love. Uh -huh. You know, because now you're going and, and, you know, you forgot your sin. Now you, now you like well, it, it, those things never existed. So you forget about the whole gospel. Uh huh. A little That's bit more. That's why you want to be built in and uh, rooted. Yeah. Like That's Christ. what it's about. Yep. As, as you, 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 you anchor those roots down, grow in it. You know, and there's so much to grow from. This truth is everlasting. The kingdom is gonna be everlasting. Even in the kingdom, we still gonna be growing. Yeah, we still. You know, building, elevating. Dominating, <laughs> fellowshipping. It's just the world out of course now. Yep. But these same elements and all of this, uh, the laws and all the physics, the, mm -hmm. even on our level, spiritual, celestial beings, we're going to be forever growing. Yep. A little bit more. Uh, come, verse 10. Wherefore, the rather, brethren, give villages to make your calling and bless you sure. For if you do these things, you should never fail. Yeah, making making those uh, micro progressions. I've been meditating that on a lot, and I was gonna speak to brothers about that. Making micro progressions throughout your weeks, you know, just like if you're working out, you see certain jakes that be jacked, you know, or that's of course workout term, what they call buff and things of that nature. They don't get that body overnight, no. Or you see individuals that was rich, they ain't just fall into riches unless they hit some fucking bank. Uh, you know, unless they, uh, you know, something, some some little event took place like the lottery or shit, which is rare. But they were consistent, you know? So consistency is the key. Consistency with anything is the key. You'll see certain jakes with, a, with, with the woman. You see how, how you could tell it took for him to constantly pursue her. He was committed to... Uh, Getting that girl, texting her constantly, calling her, doing, and she eventually gave it, you know, gave him the draws. So it's the same thing. The the notion of life is about consistent consistency. You gotta be consistent with any endeavor in order to grow in it. So the same thing in the spirit of power, y'all, by shout, we 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 gotta stay within this work, you know, and grow within this work to 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 redeem the nation, man. You know, which is not gonna be, of course, everybody, but the ones that the Lord requires which is the hundred and forty four thousand and one and one third you know and they out here you know they're how they're out here without some of them don't have the knowledge wisdom and understanding you know you got some that's still growing in this thing you know being uh you know getting their um getting sealed you know so we didn't we didn't want to make this too long just wanted to speak on a few things you know just a little after camp lesson and a little well we could do a few more of these see how the spirit flow you know, so with that, we're going to end up by giving all praise on the glory on two. Yahweh, Ba'ashem, Yahweh, Shai, Ba'ashem, 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 